Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for being here. This is Dana with CoachDanaInspires.com, and we are having some business inspiration today. And our special wonderful guest today is Peter Brissett of Review Me Marketing. And I am so excited to have Peter on today. Uh, thank you, Peter, for being here. What's going on? How, how are you? How's the fam, the biz? Well, thank you, Dana. Uh, it's a privilege to be on with you today. Things are going well, I would say, considering <laughs> everything that's going on yeah. in the world in, in 2020. I mean, who would have thought this year would it be uh, <laughs> what this year has been? Uh, yeah. And yeah, like we don't have crystal balls, right, to <laughs> predict this kind of thing. Uh, but I'm really grateful for where things are at with the business. Uh, we've managed to uh, really maintain uh, and, you know, just focus on serving our customers as best that we can and what they needed uh, during this time uh, and doing that. So that's always, um, you know, you can always do that no matter what's yeah. happening. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. And grateful that the family's healthy and my kids and my grandkids, very grateful uh, that's, for that's where we're at, considering uh, the situation that many people are in uh, right now. Yeah, absolutely true. Um, so, um, you know, your business is doing, you know, uh, okay, you know, and that's yep. wonderful. And how do you see, I mean, do you have any, you know, just thoughts, as you said, no crystal ball available, but do you have any thoughts about what the business climate is moving towards? We, we've been in this COVID situation now for eight months, eight, nine months. And, mm -hmm. you know, remember back when those first couple months when it was like, this will be over, you know, so fast right. and back to right. normal. Uh, so how do you, what do you, what are you seeing coming, coming up on the horizon? Uh, great question. I, I'm involved with a lot of uh, local business groups, uh, chambers of commerce, um, involved with the, uh, the county here, uh, in cities and just kind of how we're, how we're interacting with our businesses and considering everything that's going on. So just trying to stay in touch with what people are, are trying to do. Um, it definitely has been a time of a lot of innovation where business owners uh, are having to put back on their entrepreneurial hat and go, how do I re-envision the business I already have? And, uh, and really uh, do this differently uh, in a world that we're in. Uh, I, I think that we're going to be in this mode for a while. Like, I don't see a quick end to this, uh, honestly. So if, if businesses have been slow to make a transition, they're in a tough spot. But so many businesses have. And it's been so impressive to me to see the innovation and to see how businesses have gone and adjusted and they're doing things they've never done before, uh, but they've never had to. They've never been in a situation where it's like, I have to figure out how do I take this product, this service, this thing that I have and reimagine it to still serve people and still get it out there uh, and do that. Uh, and, and so many great ideas uh, that uh, business owners have come up with. And thankfully, we, we have access to technology now that we didn't have, you know, that many years ago, uh, namely just being high speed internet. I mean, think of all the, the internet traffic that we've generated during this time that, uh, you know, we've been working towards for so many years. Uh, we have an infrastructure now that can support this kind of transition and this change. So I see businesses continuing to be innovative and come up with new ideas uh, and to, uh, you know, serve people. Uh, but we, we as businesses need to be asking, what do our, what do our people really need right now and adjust and change to, to give them that. Yeah. And as right. long as we do that, we'll be okay. Yeah. Great. That's super, super answer, Peter. Thank you so much. And so you were talking about, we need to think about how to serve our customers. So what yep. can we do as entrepreneurs, business owners, what can we do right now that's going to move us forward? That's really going to put us some focus. So a couple of things, uh, one area that really is a big part of my focus 
is with online reviews. And so this really starts to uh, have different levels of impact uh, for your business. In particular, if you're a business, you know, a restaurant or retail, you have to communicate right now with your customers how you are now doing things. And what you can't afford right now is getting uh, negative reviews that are saying you're not providing that kind of environment. So asking for and getting the reviews and asking for them to be super specific about this is how they're operating. So I'm so grateful for this business. If I wrote a review, I'd say I went to this business. It was safe. Everybody was wearing a mask. There were proper distancing. These are things we didn't have to think about before, but are now really super important. And so asking for the reviews, not just of our product or service, but how we're delivering that product and service uh, to our clients uh, is critically important. Uh, and it's really going to give people a better idea of, you know, not only do I want this product and service, I want to do, operate and, and engage with it in a safe uh, manner that I know that myself and my family are going to be protected. Right. So it's even more critical. I, I've been saying for years. So I, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been saying reviews are so important for your business for a long time. Really, really critical uh, time to be asking uh, for those reviews. So there's a couple of challenges that we have with online reviews. Uh, the number one is, so th think of it yourself. How often do you look at reviews for a business when you're considering a business? Sometimes, never? Yeah, so, yeah I would say maybe 50% of the time, yeah. Okay. But you look and you check. How often do you write a review for a business? Um, actually, I write a lot of reviews for uh, restaurants and hotels. I, cool. I always do. Good. I, I, I think it's really important. Awesome. That's great. You are in a small percentage. So uh, while most of us, 90% of people will use reviews at some point, only 6% of us will actually write reviews. Ah. Mm. So what I tell businesses, you, you really need to only do two things to get more reviews. Uh, number one, you need to make it easy. So provide a link, send something to people so that here's, just click this and write a review. So if you got to text it or email it, or it's on a piece of paper, you hand them, whatever the method is, um, you get something in front of them that makes it easy for them. And the second thing is you do have to ask. You got to ask for the review. Uh, most people want to, want to do it. It's not that they're you know, weren't happy. Most uh -huh. of your customers are happy. They're just busy. Right. They're just right. busy. There's a lot going on. There's stuff happening in their lives. So it's not high on the priority list of things to do. And so you have to find multiple ways to ask and you have to ask multiple times. It's okay to ask multiple times to ask for those reviews. And that will help you get more of the positive reviews that are just waiting there. They're like waiting to happen. So can I just, I just want to ask you a quick question. You yeah. would ask the people who you know are happy. <laughs> you would not ask the people who had issues with you. If, if you know that for sure, absolutely. If you know that for sure, absolutely. Uh, and, uh, but reviews, even getting negative reviews can be a great learning tool to figure out, well, Obviously, maybe I've got some holes in the business, some things I need to adjust and change, and those can become learning lessons. Uh, but, uh, but absolutely, and that's, I mean, that's the prime time to do it. When you have a customer that has expressed to you, oh, this was great, that's the moment. That's the moment you ask. Well, I'm so, I'm grateful that you enjoyed, you know, and, and you're happy right now. Would you mind writing us a review? Here's the link. Right, right. Um, so mo I think most people, I, I was um, guilty of this too. Most people think about writing a review for, uh, you know, restaurants. 
yes. or hotels, they yes. don't think about writing a review for their coach or mm -hmm. for their mentor or for, you know, these people yes. who, I mean, I pay good money for my coach and I love my coach. Otherwise I wouldn't have them. So yep. why wouldn't I write a review for them? So is that a, is that a, a hurdle for us as coaches to be, to ask for that review? Cause we, that we most of us don't feel like that ish <laughs> right right yeah it's it's even more important uh if you're you're providing coaching consulting type of services uh because it might not be a review that's getting written on google uh and i would call those more of testimonials uh it really becomes super important to help identify uh what really helped them uh, and who were they and what was their situation uh, because uh, that that testimonial now has this life of providing information to others who are considering your coaching or consulting and they the more you have these testimonials the more other people can see themselves in that and they can yeah. go oh i have a s similar situation it worked for this person, you know, there's a good chance it's going to work for me. So we're, we're very much built around, uh, you know, I, I kind of a little bit believe what you tell me, but I really believe what other people tell me about you. Okay. Like I trust that. So some of the surveys that we've had is that, um, well, the number one most trusted uh, referral is a one-to-one -one referral. If I said, Hey, I, Dana, I need to know a good plumber. Oh, great. I know this guy. Boom. Like that's immensely trusted. So the second most trusted uh, form of marketing or advertising, if you want to call it that, uh, is a, a review or a testimonial. What someone else has said about you. Uh, eight out of 10 people trust that just as much as that personal recommendation. Really? So, really? That Absolutely. seems so interesting. Yeah. Um, and, and I guess, um, so you mentioned you kind of flew by the word Google there for a second. Sure. So we can get reviews on Google. Yep. And anyone out there can review me on Google. Um, mm -hmm. But where else can we put in a review for our for, – for someone who is not a restaurant and who is not a hotel, yeah. who is not an amusement park, um, you know, for we uh, entrepreneurs, business owners, mm -hmm. uh, where can we do that? So just, uh, just straight, you know, testimonials are fine uh, as well. They're good. Uh, on a third party site, you know, it's much more trusted, of course. Um, but for, for coaches and consultants, I think LinkedIn is kind of one that gets left out. Um, doing LinkedIn recommendations. Uh, again, this is a, th a third party site. Um, you're seeing who's leaving the review and who they are uh, and they're writing that recommendation. Uh, so LinkedIn is definitely uh, a place to uh, spend some time and, and put some work into um, getting some of those recommendations. Uh, it kind of gets left out of the mix uh, for most businesses uh, in general. But if you're a business who hires people, uh, LinkedIn is just as important uh, to be uh, building out your profile there and, and getting recommendations there because people are looking at in terms of, do I want to work for this company? And it becomes important. So even if you're not using that as a primary source uh, for it, but, uh, and then your Facebook page, um, is still a good spot to get your reviews and recommendations on Facebook as well. Okay. Um, those really are the, the primary, um, more for local business, especially restaurants and stuff. Yelp is still, uh, still used. Most local business owners hate Yelp <laughs> for <laughs> many different reasons, just how they kind of operate and do things. But, um, but it still can be a good source of, of business. People do use Yelp in particular for, um, restaurants and um, those types of services. Yeah. It's definitely heavily used uh, still. Um, but 
Google is, you know, Google is still um, a, a totally viable source, even for a culture consultant. And I struggle with it as a B2B business. It's much harder to get reviews sometimes uh, on Google. And I work, I've worked really hard to get about 12 or 13 reviews on Google at this point. And, <laughs> uh, and I'm the reviews guy. So it's, it's not always easy, you know, in a B2B environment to, uh, to get those. Um, but it's well worth it to to continue to working on it. Right. Um, you know, when you talked about LinkedIn, uh, I just remember that uh, what I used to get, I don't get them now, but I used to get um, uh, Bob Smith recommends you for coaching, speaking, yeah. uh, mechanics, um, <laughs> yeah. ballet. You know, and I'm like, going, right. you know, and then I go, I go to Bob playing. Smith. <laughs> And I've met him one time, you know, at a, this guy? <laughs> we've never really talked. We've, so, yeah. so to me, um, that kind is that kind of recommendation is to me just totally bogus. So yeah, the recommendation on LinkedIn that really counts is I worked with Peter. Yes. He helped me. Right. This is what I've done. And this is yes. what I've gotten from. So something Absolutely. that really describes Yep. So that other people could say, like you were saying earlier, yep. ah, I need that help. And here's another idea too, to help people with that is uh, either you have some type of template or maybe you have a testimonial that you've been given that you really like, everything that's in it. Give that to your, your clients as an example. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mention okay. to them, say, hey, uh, I would love for it if you'd write a testimonial. Here's some ideas on others that we've had in the past. And it, it just makes it so much easier for them to go, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because a lot of times they, people look at it and go, oh, what do I say? I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. so Peter is moving. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. this guy's great. Uh, but, yeah, help them say the things that you know are going to be more impactful to help other people. And it just okay. helps them get it done that much easier easier. So yeah, providing okay. a, a okay. template, uh, even going as far as really, even going as far as scheduling a meeting with them. Really? You know, a 50, a 15 minute zoom to go, I'm, let me ask you a few questions. What have you gotten from my coaching? Let them answer that. What's the impact been and get a little bit of information that way they're not having to do a, a lot of work. Obviously, you're letting them know this is the intention of this is we're writing a testimonial. I just want to help you do that. I, it's so important to me that that I hear from you on that. So let's do this together. Okay. That, do it that that's way. sweet. Then you know for sure. Then you know for sure it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, coaching and consulting, uh, that kind of information and feedback is uh, critical to you. Uh, but it really is going to help other people make that decision down the road. Right. Okay. I, I, li I like it. So my next question to you is, should I write online reviews? Okay. Great question. This is my challenge that I've been uh, putting out there here lately. And in particular for local businesses that are really struggling right now just because of how they have to operate and all the restrictions and everything that's happening, happening to them. So one, just encouraging people do business locally as much as you possibly can mm -hmm. and write reviews for these folks. Like if you really want to help local businesses right now, write reviews for them, like do it. Even if you've never written a review before in your life, start doing it now. Like if you really want to have an impact on these local businesses and your local economy and, and, and help impact some lives, actually going and writing reviews would be so helpful right now. Uh, it would really actually make a big difference for these local businesses. So that's my mantra right now is go write reviews, uh, do business locally and write reviews. Well, you know, I, I've, I've been, so let's just use um, a, my veterinarian um, who mm -hmm. unfortunately I don't get to see anymore since my uh, precious Lufty has passed away. Mm -hmm. But every time I would go to them, 
you know, they would always send back, they'd send me an email saying, we hope you yeah. had a great experience, yep. blah, blah, blah. Click here to give a Google review. And I would always just go, oh, okay. uh-huh. okay. sure. You know, I don't... I don't want to do this. Sometimes I just get overwhelmed with this Google thing. Google, 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 Google. Everything has <laughs> right. to be Google. Why can't it be, you know, sunflower Google? I don't know. Anyway, but, um, <laughs> right. I don't know. Um, so, so, you know, I kind of resisted. But what I'm hearing is, is that I should not resist. Yes. Because it is futile. And just go <laughs> and do it. Just get, write a review for people because it'll help their business. It'll make me happy. Yes. Because I helped them out. Yes. Yep. Okay. Let's help these businesses out. Let's right. get over whatever's going on there and right. uh, do the thing that, that we know is really going to be impactful and help them. And Okay. I have a, I, now. I have, I have a, um, I would call this person a friend, speaker, <laughs> coach. coach. Yeah. He's a coacher, um, speaker, <laughs> coach. Um, I mean, he's this fantastic dude. Uh, not as dude as you, dude, but a, a great guy. And he always says, if you can give me a five-star review, here's the link. If you can give me a five-star uh -huh. review, here's the link. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking, well, what if I want to give you a four? <laughs> you then know? give him a four. I, you know. you're, you, the important piece about reviews and, and what makes the whole system work is that it's authentic. And if you feel the business should be four stars, then give them four stars, but explain why. Explain yeah. why it's not five. And, I, and and put in there, if if you would have done this or this, I probably would have given you a five. Got it. And I've, I've given a review on a restaurant, a local restaurant that um, for years, they, they were the place to go. They were the place to go. You couldn't mm -hmm. get a seat. They were fantastic. They built a new building, mm. big building, fantastic. It stunk. Uh. <laughs> Suddenly, the food was generally the same, but you know the service. Uh, yeah, what the heck, man? What happened? Uh -huh. Yeah, you could get a seat, but who cares? And so I wrote a review <laughs> right. saying, you know, I loved you so much. Everyone right. did, right. and this has been my experience you know, blah, blah. And I, I actually got a response from the owner saying, Good. thank you for letting us know. Yep. We're going to do some more training. Please give us another chance. Perfect. And about a month later, I drug my poor husband back down there. We had a wonderful time. Uh, service Good. was much better. Every, everything yep. was improved. And I wrote another review and I said, uh -huh. wow, uh, so responsive. This has been great. La, la, la. So yes. I think it does make a difference. Yeah. Yes. Yep. That's a great example of how, you know, honest, authentic reviews can make an impact on that business. So they, they got off track a little bit, all focused on the building and, and forgot the thing that made them such a great business in the first place. Yeah. And so yeah. they're, they're good, loyal customers like you said, we need to make some adjustments here. And cause we want it to be like it was <laughs> and <laughs> it worked. <laughs> And and at the old place, we wouldn't be eating there at all because it was so crammed. Yeah, you, you couldn't you, even you, get in. <laughs> forget the social distancing. You just wouldn't be there at all. Right. Holy, holy tamale, I'll tell you. So um, we're about out of time. Do you have do you have one one little nugget, one little thing that we absolutely must do or something you haven't shared with us yet? I think I've given you all the good stuff. I, all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just if you're a business, ask for reviews. And everybody else, business or not, write reviews for people that you do business with right now. Please write reviews for folks. Got it. And if Got you it. can do that, I think uh, we'll figure out how we get through all this stuff together. I think so. And let's let's see how we're going to contact Peter. If anyone has questions for Peter about uh, how to ask for more reviews, Peter is the guy to go to. He is the digital marketing dude. And so this is his website, review marketing, review me marketing dot co, yep. not dot com, but dot co. And um, I believe that's for Colorado. Is that right? 
It's it's you know For not really. <laughs> yeah. So review me marketing dot co <laughs> not com dot co. That's not a typo. I did not make that correct. mistake. It um, is correct. <laughs> and then Peter's email is Peter at m. God. I'm just that's left skill. Uh, Peter at dmdude.com because he is the digital marketing dude. So you can remember that. Peter at dmdude.com is how you get a hold of him. So reach out to Peter, find out what he can do for you as far as how you can get more reviews because clearly we all need them and we all need to give them. So great stuff. This is my information down below. If I can be of any service to you, if you have any questions about what I do, I would be more than happy to uh, give you that information as well. And we just want to thank Peter. Thank you so much for being here, giving us great information. Uh, uh, things that, you know, yeah, yeah, I've heard about reviews, but there's a real uh, strategy about it. And mm -hmm. yep. um and again, helping our local businesses survive. I think that's just an underlying uh, message there that we all need to think about too. Yep. So and thank you, Dana, for doing this and for, you know, taking time to focus on the positive things and, and the things that, that are going well. And uh, this is, I mean, all this is messages that we need more and more. So absolutely. I appreciate that. Uh, well, thank you so much for helping me share that. And until next Tuesday, we will see you at Business Inspiration and have a wonderful week. And always be kind and give reviews. That's the main message. Thank you, Peter. Mm -hmm.